hate to segue into another thing, but it's the same thing. I, I covered this. I don't know if you covered it, Ryan. Where uh, She Hulk? Uh, yes, She Hulk. Mm. The same fucking thing. It was people are mad that there's some. Um, this headline uh, right here. That headline right there. She Hulk is already getting flat for <laughs> being God. a female led show. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. It's the same fucking thing, man. Is that it is Star Wars is doing? That this is out of the playbook. Same fucking thing. It's unbelievable that they keep running this script and they think that it's going to work. It's like trying to shield themselves from criticism. You, you want to see something interesting, Rippa? Uh, you know, because because I, I think I watched part of your video where you were talking yeah, about this. I was this, trying right? to go to the link and it you turned, what, it turned out it was an old one, wasn't it? It's an article from 2019. Wow. Man, Three years amazing, old. They're saying she Hulk TV series accused of pandering to the left and squeezing out male heroes. This is like the basis on which they're writing these articles to reach for whatever they can. And yep. Something else that's interesting that I found out, we know that this got, like, massive backlash. Yeah. This kind of ratio on the Marvel YouTube channel, I don't think we've ever seen anything no. like that. 400,000 to 700,000. That is good, guys. Right? Cute. Car Gary, have we ever seen a backlash on that level for a Marvel property? No, I, I went no. and checked the Eternals trailer and the Miss Marvel trailer, and it's... It, no, it's not. Th there's been like a hundred thousand dislikes, but not four hundred thousand dislikes. And quite frankly, that's honestly like yeah, it's probably six hundred fifty thousand dislikes. Y yeah. You want to know why I think that too, Gary? Because I did a little bit of looking. Because this isn't the only place where this trailer was uploaded. You have all these trailer re-upload places, right? What were they there? Movie trailer source twenty one down Jesus to Christ. four point eight Oof. up. That's One bad. media, Holy 31 shit. down to eight up. Uh huh. Uh, movie coverage, 30 down to six up. Uh huh. Kinocheck.com, 15 down to five up. Entertainment tonight, 50K down to 11K up. This, there is massive backlash. This is not about it being a woman. Yeah, guys, remember all that backlash to the female superhero Wonder Woman? Remember yeah. all those sexists out there that came out? They're still here for She-Hulk. It's the same Jesus. thing, man. And when, when we were criticizing Ray, right? What were we? We were misogynists then. Now that we're criticizing Moses Ingram, black is higher up on the diversity ladder, the oppression ladder, than white woman. So now we're racist. Oh it, it's God. just always well, going to be something else to defend and deflect. Marvel fans who read the comic books, I know we're a dwindling number. She-Hulk is one of our favorite characters. I've said, I've said, I've talked, <laughs> yes. I've talked about tokenism Female all characters, the time. characters. I've said that of all the tokenism and all the tokenized characters, the one character that I said that was that I said was tolerable and my, and my favorite tokenized character was She-Hulk. I people have heard me say that a million times. This was long before this was ever announced. I have said that a million times on my channel. That's really the only reason why when it can't because you know I don't be doing trailer like watches too much anymore, but it popped up on my timeline. I was like, okay, I want to see what they did. And I was like, this is dog water, man. Like the fact that like this, this looks like this looks bad. Like I didn't even have the angle from the woke shit. I just said this was fucking terrible man these guys are not even fucking trying and then when i same thing it's funny how the pivot they pivot when i criticize for example how gore looks right with um christian bell he just looks like fucking i don't know Quan chi from mortal Kombat. They didn't even look like fucking gore they didn't try and i criticized that like you don't like anything i was like oh well y'all couldn't play the whole homophobe transphobe or, or anything right there because christian bell's a white man so now it's all well he just doesn't, doesn't like anything it's almost as if my criticisms were always fucking legit if you had been fucking listening. It's not like I was just criticizing shit for the sake of being criticizing of things. These things are bad. Marvel is putting out bad property, man. Same thing goes for really everything under the Disney umbrella. And these goddamn consumers, man, these pigs expect you to just eat everything it is that they put out there because they like to assume that Disney or Marvel or Star Wars can do any wrong. It has to be something wrong with us because we're criticizing. Not that they're putting out bad shit. They are the cool thing. We need to support the cool thing or we will miss out on the cool thing and won't be part of the cool thing even though we don't really watch it or buy it. We bought a pop vinyl once, so that makes us part of the cool thing. That's what they're doing right now. That is the current MCU stan consumer and I, I know I get called out for like my toys, but like, yeah, I bought shit that was really fucking cool. 
That was yep. really cool. I was a fan for uh, five decades of yeah. really cool shit. The way Lord of the Rings fans love Tolkien, that's how Eric and I feel about the source material in Marvel up to a certain point. I would say up to about probably 2015, maybe. Four. Yeah, that's when it went but fucking way that's down. That's when it went crazy. That went right after Disney got a hold of it and gave it a couple of years and Disney fight it. Those were the stories of my life that I read my entire fucking life. Same with Eric, same with a lot of people out there. Yeah, we actually gave a shit about it. And we thought, hey, Hey, this company that owns Marvel might get this stuff right. They did in the beginning yeah. before Disney got there. You know, they brought in Stan Winston, made a pretty fucking awesome Iron Man costume that looked like Iron Man. And they got a guy who looked like Tony Stark to play Iron Man. Wow. All of a sudden, Iron Man's an A-list character from being a C-list character. So, yeah, we had, you know, we had standards. We had expectations. And then Marvel got lazy. That's not our fault. 